Hi, John here. It's um, Thursday, the 3rd of uh, November 2016. I'm just running this uh, video. Uh, the Hillary Clinton takeover of the United Nations, the United States. And here it says, you can read what it's saying here, um, and then I'll run the video. really happening people. This is why Comey wrote the letter. This is where is the documents we have been all waiting for and expecting from WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks are coming from not the Russians. The US intelligence community is staging a coup against the Clinton corruption. Watch this now. See video below. This is Steve Pasinik was Deputy Assistant, Secretary of State under Henry Kister, Cyrus Vance and James Baker. Pazinik, I think that's how you say his name, Steve Pazinik. Okay, Steve Pazinik was Deputy Assistant, Secretary of State under his Henry Kissinger, Cyrus Vance and James Baker. So, well, let's play the video. November 1, 2016, Hillary and Bill Clinton and their entourage of assistants affected a civilian coup. In contrast to the usual concept of a coup where the military is involved and takes over the White House and communication centers, very much like the scenarios you see in a movie, this coup was done silently and very effectively through two methods, corruption and co-optation. The Clintons have been involved in co-opting our White House, our judiciary, our CIA, our Federal Bureau of Investigation, our Attorney General Loretta Lynch, and our Director of the FBI, James Comey, for some time now. What they've done is to make sure that they were part and parcel of a group of people who were interrelated through political cronyism. However, in order to stop this coup, we in the intelligence community and others involved have informally gotten together and with their permission I am beginning to announce that we've initiated a counter coup through Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. What has happened in effect when uh, Comey had to open up the case of Hillary Clinton and discuss the emails that were involved with the Anthony Weiner case it was not the case itself that was as important as the fact that this was the entree for many of us in the counter coup to say to the administration, we have your number. Not only do we have your number, we're going to stop you from making Hillary the president of the United States. And at the same time, we will convict and indict the president of the United States, Loretta Lynch, and many others who were involved in the cover-up of the massive corruption that occurred under the Clinton Foundation. Now, in both cases, their coup was silent, and our counter coup was silent, and it was all a, a transgressed or occurred on the Internet. And this is probably the first time in the history of any country where a coup was initiated on, through the Internet and a counter coup was initiated through the Internet. I am just a small part of something far bigger than myself. It was the brave men and women who were in the FBI, the CIA, the Director of Intelligence, the uh, Military Intelligence, and men and women in 15 other intelligence organizations who were sick and tired of seeing this corruption in the White House and the Justice Department and the intelligence system. And we decided that there was something we had to do in order to save the Republic. So we initiated a counter coup through Julian Assange, who's been very brave and, and really quite formidable in his, in his ability to come forth and provide all the necessary emails that we gave to him in order to undermine Hillary and Bill Clinton. Again, America, we're going through a major, major transition and quite frankly, a second American revolution. We do not have guns, we do not have weapons, we do not have, intend to kill anybody, we do not intend to harm anybody. But we, the American
American public and those of us who serve as veterans and in an intelligence service like myself will stop the Clintons from assuming power that they don't deserve. At the same time, we will make certain that Obama leaves without any trail of a, uh, a pardon or any other act of treason. In effect, we want a peaceful transition in this great American republic. I bring you this news, and I want you to understand what has happened. A moment of history is occurring right now in front of us, and I'm proud to explain it to you. There we go. That's what I wanted to do for now. And you can see me there, here, here, right in the middle of him, 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 her, him, Comey, right, Comey, uh, the two turrets, and Trey Gowdy, who is responsible for bringing these people to justice, Trey Gowdy. Okay, I can't see Jason um, Schaefer's yeah anywhere, but anyway, I can see my, my photo right in the middle of them, the latest one. That's the latest one I've just done. Okay, the house of cards is falling. Look, Blondie in the belly of the beast. So, there we go. It's, uh, what time? 2.30 in the morning, I think. Three o'clock, exactly on the dot. Three a.m. in the morning in Auckland, uh, Otahu, New Zealand. I just want to get it, get this video before it gets snapped off line. So there you go, folks. I'm going to just switch this off and go back to the document here. So that's the smoking gun for you. Breaking news, now watch, this is real video folks, FBI is quietly released documents via Julian Assange and Wikileaks, counter coup to the Clinton attack is happening now. Share this before Facebook takes it down. There is no time, don't wait. This is really exciting and scary at the same time. Donald Trump should be our new president, but these new next few days are going to be crazy. So there we go, folks. just share, share this article, so that's what I'm doing, sharing this article. Okay, bye bye.